Okay, welcome to the uh, practice quiz. This will hopefully get you ready to uh, take the quiz and pass it successfully. The first thing where most people mess up on a quiz is not getting their settings done correctly. So if they don't have your settings right, that's going to mess you up for the whole thing. So let's go ahead and make sure we have all of our settings right before we start drawing anything. First you want to do is you want to go up to your format and go into units and make sure you're at decimal and then you have three decimal places. Okay, so click OK after that. Next step is you want to check your drawing limits. You want to go Format, Drawing Limits, come down to the bottom in the command line. It says specify lower left corner. Make sure it's always zero, 0, and it should be. You should always just go ahead and hit Enter now. Next, make sure the upper right hand corner is 17, 11. So if it's not that, go ahead and type in the, um, the right number, 17, 11, and hit Enter afterwards. You also want to resize your grids. So after you always change your drawing limits, just make sure you go Z enter, A enter, just to kind of resize your grid area. Next thing we want to do is we want to make sure our line weight is correct. So I'm going to go down to this LWT button down here, right click, go to settings, and I'm going to make sure it's on inches and then it's the second scroll from the left. Okay, see this bar moves back and forth. So you want to make sure it's on the, the second one. Looking down here, I want to make sure I go down here to my grids and I go to my settings and I want to make sure my grids are at 1. Okay, so make sure your grids are at 1 and make sure your snaps are at 0.25. Down here for grid behavior, you don't want nothing checked down here, so you don't want nothing like this at all. So make sure nothing is checked in grid behavior. Make sure your grids are at 1 and they're on. Make sure your snaps are at 0.25 and they're on. Down here at the bottom of the bar, you want to make sure you have ortho off, polar off, O snap off, O track off. Uh, make sure you do have this dynamic input. This is very important. This is going to allow us to check the size of our rectangles and squares that we draw. Okay, so now that we checked all the settings and we're ready to go, we should have a successful time doing this practice quiz. So during the quiz, I'll ask you to either draw a square or a rectangle. So that would mean you would take a, click on the button for rectangle. And the best thing to do is just click on a dot somewhere on your grid, and then you would count. So, so I say, for example, I say draw a 4x4 four four square. So click on the dot, and you count 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you can come down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we can verify this by just clicking on it once, moving your mouse over the blue grip, which is the blue square, and just hovering there. So notice that it gives me the 4x4. Four four. If this DYN button, dynamic input, if that was not pushed in, notice how when I come back up here, it's not shown. So that's why it's important to have this dynamic input button pushed on. So you can see that. Okay, so next thing I would say is to do a chamfer. So I'd say maybe perhaps do a chamfer of two on top and then do a fillet of two on the bottom. So to do a chamfer, remember you can go up here and go modify chamfer. You can come over here to the button bar, go to the, ch the button there, or you can even go and type in CHA, C-H-A. So let's go ahead and do CHA, C-H-A, CHA. The second step in the chamfer is D, enter for distance, and then I told you the distance need to be 2. So you would type in 2, enter. Remember for chamfer you have to hit enter twice after your, I tell you the distance. So hit enter one more time. And notice how the mouse changes to a square, so that means you can ready to pick the lines. So I click on the line here, click on it there. Repeat chamfer. Notice when you click on it, I'm not cl clicking on the corners. Okay, click on the line itself, and then there's the chamfer. Next thing to do is to do a fillet on the bottom. Okay, so to do a fillet, you can either go modify fillet, fillet button, or type in F enter. So F, enter. The second step in the fillet is to type in R, enter for radius. So we'd go R, enter. And the radius uh, for this one I told you was 2. So you'd put 2, enter. And notice the mouse is ready to pick. So on fillet, you do not have to hit enter twice after I give you the radius or after the number. So click on the line here and here. Click on the line here and here. Okay, it's successful. Let's go ahead and draw another one and let's practice that one again. 
So let's say I ask you to draw me a 3 by 5 rectangle. So you go ahead and click on the rectangle button, click on a dot, and go ahead and go over 3. 1, 2, 3. You can either go up 5 or down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to verify that by clicking on it, moving my mouse over the blue square, which is the grip, and it tells me I've got a 3 by 5. Okay, this one here, I would probably say do a chamfer of 1.5 on the tops and a fillet of 1.5 on the bottoms. So again, to do chamfer, you would go cha, D enter, type in 1.5, enter, and remember, for chamfer, you have to hit enter twice. And now you got the square to ready to pick. So I click on that. Again, you don't click on the corners. You don't click on the corners. You click on the line. Click on the line. Now to do a fillet, you're going to have to go F enter, R enter, and then you type in the distance I ask you to. 1.5 enter. So now I come down here, click on the lines, click on the lines. Okay, so that's half the quiz right there. Next part is to put some text inside of here. So I'd ask you to probably click on the text box and type your name in there. So you'd make this box here. And then sometimes I may ask you to type in the, uh, the text with a different text height. But for now, just go ahead and type in your name. So I'm just going to go ahead and go Mr. Lyman. And click OK. I'm going to go ahead and move that because I want to like it centered in there. Go ahead and move it better. If it lets me select it here. And move it over just a little bit. And that wasn't that good of a move, was it? Okay, that's more or less centered in the drawing. Okay, then you need to make sure you turn this into a text into text heavy layer. So you select it, come up here, turn it to text heavy. Okay, so that's text heavy. Let's go ahead and put some text in this one here. So I'm going to click on the A button. Drag the text box, and this one here, I'll just go ahead and ask you to change the text height to 0.5. If 0.5 is not already in the the values up here, you just simply type in 0.5. So 0.5, and then I'll just right here, I'll just type in quiz, and I'll just capitalize everything. Again, don't forget to turn this into text heavy, and then I'm going to go ahead and move this so I can kind of center it just a little bit better, so it looks a bit nicer. So like that. Okay, the next step in the quiz is to do a trim command. So what I ask you to do is click on line, draw a diagonal line, draw another diagonal line so you make yourself an X, and then you would do a trim command. To do trim command, you would go modify, trim, or come over here and click on the trim button, or you would go ahead and type in TR enter for trim. So TR enter. Here's where most people mess up on the trim part. They just select the lines that you want to trim. When you do trim, you want to select everything. Okay, so make sure you select everything. You hit enter, then you go ahead and click on your lines. And notice how I'm kind of having a hard time selecting my line. Okay, I can make my life a little bit easier by moving my mouse by turning off my snap. So I can take off that snap. Now I can move my mouse a little bit better. Now I can select that. Okay, but here, look at this. I'm clicking on this, but the trims doesn't seem to be working on these two lines. So what you need to do is just go over here, click on the eraser, and click on the lines, and then erase those. So let's go ahead and do it one more time over on this, this one here. So I go ahead and draw a big X to it. Okay, and I'll go ahead and trim the lines inside of it. So again, to do the trim, you just go TR, enter, select everything, hit enter, and then go ahead and click on the lines inside. And looks like I got everything but these pieces here. So again, if it's not getting away, you click on the eraser, select it, and erase it. Okay, the other part of your quiz is to add remove toolbars. So I, if I ask you to bring out your dimension toolbar and have it floating, that means you would go to any button bar, you would right click your mouse, 
and again these are all your toolbars that's in you have access for AutoCAD so I ask you to bring out your dimension it's not checked so that means it's not out there so I click on it and then it pops out there for you okay so if I ask you to bring out something that's already on your screen here's what happens if I ask you to bring out your modify and you don't know where modify is at I come down to modify it's got a check mark so that means it's on my screen so to find out where it's at you just go ahead and click on it it disappears so I think something disappeared over here so that means it's probably the modify over there so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that back so I go to a button bar right click my mouse go to modify and it looks like that's the one that came back so if I bring this out here just kinda of hover my mouse right here and it tells me that's the modify and again that one here is the dimension so in a quiz if you can successfully add remove toolbars move some things around go ahead and do trimming chamfers and fillets uh, then you would have a successful time taking the quiz.